So it's me again for a pure Archer build level 1, just in order to showcase some stuff. Uh, I take a Wood Elf and the three perks uh, did go inside the Marksman tree. Two perks in order to have some expertise, in order to have ammo penetration and better damage. And one perks is the Ranger perks. Most important perks at low level for an Archer. Why? Because with Ranger perk, you can run with your bow or with your light crossbow. Okay? With an heavy bow, it doesn't work, of course. So, uh, but you know that an heavy bow will do uh, twice as much damage. So, I always carry with me an heavy bow for sniping and a light bow uh, for combat and I, I switch a lot between the two bows uh, like in my previous video with the ranger guy always choose uh, your battlefield so here the best place for me to hit a navy armor guy which are my nemesis is to be out of range so you see, I've got two perks in bow, steel arrow, and a, a low tier uh, bow, and I did nothing to him with my heavy bow. So, uh, but he can't attack me from here. You feel it's cheesy, maybe. No, it's not. You are playing Requiem, and in Requiem, you need not to use glitch because glitch yeah are a lot cheesy but at low level you need to use your environment a lot especially if you are a beginner uh, and so don't hesitate to do that if you play a character which have long range attack it will help you a lot during uh, your your first level and you need that because it's a very difficult game at slow level. So, it took me uh, some arrows in order to kill him. But at the end of the day, I was out of his range, so easy play. I play a Bosmer. Bosmer has got something very useful. The strange meat. If you kill a humanoid, you will have strange meat. It will give you a uh, two uh, stamina regen, which is a little less than the bestial stew. Bosmer can eat bestial stew, but strange meat you will find it as soon as you kill a humanoid. It will cost you nothing, and uh, you will have a lot of that every time. So, and for stamina management. If you compare with my previous video, which uh, I don't have any bestial stew and any stew at all, it was hard to deal with. Here, I you will see that I don't have a stamina management issue. So I check the two guys because one of them is in HA, the other is in uh, light armor. And of course, I choose to one shot kill the light armor. I've got plenty, plenty of time after that to kill the heavy armored guy. I even missed one arrow. This one, I shouldn't have tried the last one. It's too dangerous. You've got plenty of stamina. Look at my stamina. I'm a bossman. I start with 120. Plus, I've got the strange meat. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I don't have big man stamina management issue in small uh, place like this. So don't try to shoot this fucking last arrow when the guy is near you, because it will always end with uh, a bad hit. I will showcase that later because uh, this is something everybody does. So, now we know 
how to have an escape plan and how to play with the environment. The first guy is heavy armor. The second is light armor. Okay. Now I know the second guy will be the first in front and I will kill him first. Okay, this one was it with my first arrow. I missed one and I decided to run away. I've got plenty of stamina. He's in heavy armor. He will not run after me. I've got time. Time. Here I can prepare an arrow. I decided not to do that. Because it's a bit dangerous. You never know. You can miss. So now I switch arrow in order uh, bow in order to be able to follow him easily. That was not necessary, but uh, it's an habit, you know. When I want to move like I want, I switch to light bow with my ranger perk. Else, I use heavy bow. Strange meat doesn't uh, run a long time. So here, it's why you. Don't shoot this fucking last arrow. He hit me and low tier bows break when you are hit in a requiem. Uh, so, uh, as soon as it's possible, get an elven bow or an orcish bow. They will not break. And it's game changing at low level. So as you can see, the crossbow is pretty efficient uh, in armor piercing against uh, heavy armor. So, uh, but there is a glitch with the crossbow. When you've got your crossbow and your switch weapon, even if there is no uh, bolt in the crossbow, after the switch, if you pull back your crossbow, you will have a bolt inside it. As you can see in Requiem, the animation for reloading is very long. It's because crossbow have got a very good armor piercing. And this long animation is here in order to balance uh, the damage uh, between crossbow and bow. So, shoot with your crossbow. If there is nobody around, you can reload, else change your weapon. Okay. Nobody is coming, crossbow, and I've got a bolt. But even if I didn't have a bolt, I would have plenty of time to reload. So here I didn't use the glitch. And here I decided to take the time to reload. I heard there was a guy in my back. See the damage. He's got a heavy armor and with uh, an iron crossbow very low tier crossbow. I did more than half of his life with the crossbow. So it's pretty efficient at the start of the game. So now he's dead. Uh, it's look a good idea to have a navy bow, a light bow and a crossbow. Uh, navy crossbow is better because it will make a ton of damage. You will use your, uh, your light bow in order to make combat. The issue is with the Bosmer, you only have 85 carry weight. You can see 85 is <laughs> not enough at all. So you will have to make a choice. My choice was to go to bow only because I don't like this uh, crossbow glitch. Of course, you can. Uh, switch weapon and said oh well I, when i will get back to my crossbow i will wait three seconds but you will be able to move a lot and uh, yeah so uh, most of the time i don't play crossbow but they are pretty efficient weapon in requiem and it's uh, very a pity we've got a glitch there is a mod but uh, the mod uh, we all, which allow you to don't have the glitch when you switch weapon uh, change the reload time of a crossbow, making it uh, much more faster and it breaks the balance between bow and crossbow. 
Of course, if you use this mod, you will not play Requiem anymore. You will play another game with very, very uh, much more efficient crossbow. But for a Requiem mod only, uh, yeah, crossbow was very, are very good, but most of the time in order to make the first shoot. And you will need a uh, peace moment in order to reload it or to simulate the fact that you did reload the crossbow. So Wolf, why are they pain in the ass at low level for Archer? Because they don't run in a straight line. They will change trajectory and they will break your fucking bow or uh, crossbow. The other issue is that at low level, uh, you will need to train a little bit your uh, trajectory, your uh, the range of your weapon, because it's easy to miss at medium and long range. So I did miss in this video, and uh, I was not happy with that. So I choose to have a long line, just in order to adjust. And with a light bow, I managed to one shot kill him. So light bow does good damage. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a small one, just in order to showcase uh, our chart.